and they're off. For the Betfred Super League Novices Handicap Chase, over two miles and six and a half furlongs, free range. Jumps off with some purpose to lead them into the turn. With General Picton in second, Blagapar and Morning Herald either side of him. As they swing left-handed towards the fences down the back straight. So free range leads General Picton by two with Blagapar on the inside of Morning Herald, just holding third as they reach the first. Free range, put himself right. Blagapar jumped into second as General Picton rather backed off it. Favorite quite keen in the early stages. Morning Herald bringing up the rear as they head to the second. Free range from Blagapar with General Picton in third and Morning Herald last of the quartet. Free range, led them over the second. Blagapar is almost alongside and then a gap of three or four lengths to General Picton as they head to the fence after the clump. Free range has moved a couple of lengths clear of Blagapar who jumped it well in second. No mistakes from either General Picton or Morning Herald at the rear. Over the rise between fences three and four. Free range pressing on three in front of Blagapar with General Picton in third and the Mayor Morning Herald observing from the rear as free range comes into the wings of the fourth fence, booted into it, Blagapar got in close, General Picton not the most convincing leap in third, Morning Herald brings up the rear. So racing left-handed coming down the hill, it's free range tracked by Blagapar with General Picton racing in third and closing in on the front pair and Morning Herald in no hurry at the rear of the field as they swing into the home straight. Round the first in the straight, ground under repair, now to the open ditch, jump to fence number five, free range, Blagapar, General picked him with the sheepskin noseband has probably just regained second place going into the ditch and Morning Herald was the last to clear it as they race on to fences six and seven. Free range, Blagapar on the inside of General Picton, Morning Herald close behind over the sixth. Free range, picked up a length and a half in front of Blagapar with David Bass now shaking the reins at General Picton, doesn't look to be enjoying himself, now gets a reminder. Morning Herald travelling much more conviction though last of the quartet as they clear the seventh which Blagapar made a mistake at but was clever enough to get out of harm's way. So free range at the end of a circuit leads by nearly two lengths. Blagapar and General Picton back up sides the market leader disputing second with a circuit to cover. Morning Herald remains the back marker. But she's still travelling okay as free range heads off in front to the fences in the back straight. With a length and a half advantage over General Picton with Blagapar on his inside, just in third, going over the first down the back. Blagapar again out jumps General Picton to regain second. Morning Herald just having to be chivied along now by Richard Johnson. Has got a little bit outpaced and he's five lengths behind the other trio as they head on towards fence number nine. Free range, Blagapar, General Picton over in third, clear of Morning Herald as they head towards the penultimate fence down the back straight. Free range, and Charlie Hammond in front by just over a length to Blagapar. Now General Picton's losing ground on the leading pair and made a mistake at the fence after the clump and the back marker remains Morning Herald. So one more to cross in the back straight and then three homeward bound. Free range from Blagapar traveling strongly in second. Hard ridden General Picton is third, but he's lost touch with the front pair. Morning Herald is closing in on him as the driven along free range leads them over the last in the back straight. With Blagapar upsides under Sam Twist and Davis and probably just putting his head in front on landing over the fourth last. General Picton is responding to pressure. He's a couple of lengths behind the front pair, having been as far as five lengths behind them at one point down the back. And Morning Herald is trying to get back on terms as well as they make the descent for home with three to jump in the straight. Now they've got there. 
Free range and black apart, share the advantage off the home turn as they bypass the first in the straight. With General Picton driven for dear life between the front two, Morning Herald is being produced to the outside by Richard Davis, but Sam Twiston Davis hasn't moved a muscle on black apart as they come to jump the final open ditch. Blagopar in front by Badder Length, with Morning Herald making a mistake under Richard Johnson back in third. General Picton, to his credit, is keeping on. Free range after losing the lead has quickly dropped out of the equation. Blagopar arrives at the second last, still going strongly, but rather fluffed these lines. General Picton landed second, but he's six lengths behind the leader, who's still in cruise control. Morning Herald is well beaten off in third as Blagopar comes to jump the final fence. He's out over it safely. Eight lengths in front of General Picton with Morning Herald trying hard to get up for second. Free range has cleared the last. It was easy for Blagopar, who's due to go up in the weights in the coming days, and he's won by double digits here. General Picton held on to second from Morning Herald, and last across the line was the pace setting free range. First, number three, Blagopar. Second, number five. Third, number two, and the fourth placed horse, number one. The full result of the Betfred Super League Novices Handicap Steeplechase. First, number three, a Blagger Par. Second, number five, General Picton. Third, number two, a Morning Herald. And the fourth placed horse, number one, a Free Range.